So uh, good afternoon, sir, and uh, thank you for granting us the opportunity to be here, sir, at Huawei uh, R&D Center in Shanghai, sir. Uh, sir, uh, on the conference uh, which happened, you know, just now, uh, you know, the, the group, uh, many groups from, you know, uh, many parts of uh, China, uh, you mentioned about 5G mm -hmm. and AI. Yes. And above that, you also mentioned about the combination between 5G and AI also. Mm -hmm. So. When you combine 5G and AI together, uh, what what is the remarkable thing that you that you can achieve, sir? Let's say. Yes, sir. Uh, as the first thing is why we want to introduce AI to 5G and the 5GA, because now the network now is de developing very quickly. Yes, sir. Yeah, we find the networker's complexity has become much more complex than before. Like the more band introduced more side introduced. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, as we find that more service in introduced, especially recently, you will find that a lot of the AI service come, like the chat GPT, it greatly uh, uh, change people's work way, like the video, the video generation efficiency 10 times than before, because you can use AI GC to generate the video. So this will greatly impact the networkers, and we need the network has much more stronger capability. So that's why we're thinking that we need AI to help uh, to help to manage the network resource and also help to simplify network uh, operation. So that's why we're thinking that AI is very important in, the, in the, this way. So what you mean is that AI is like the brain and then the 5G speed is like the speed of the brain, so something like that. Yeah, yeah, you can imagine like something like uh, the AI is the brain of the network uh, and the network is your, is your hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need your brain to, to tell you how to move your hand to better work. Think, yeah, you can similar like this. Yes, yes sir. And uh, at the same time, uh, you know, uh, currently uh, uh, is Huawei or maybe other companies in China, you know, implementing the combined, you yes. know, force between AI and, and uh, 5G? Yes, yes. This is the reason why we are, uh, take great effort in, mm -hmm. in this way. For example, like the uh, Huawei, uh, in this year MWC, we just uh, published the Tentacom Foundation model by our ICT president, uh, Yang Chaobing. Yeah, this is our uh, very important step to introduce AI to the 5G. And yes. I also see in China and globally, not, not only Huawei, but also our partner like the, the China Mobile, they also release their own foundation model. And also in OSC, recently in some uh, industry uh, organization or industry conference, I found some top, top operator like Deutsche Telekom and their, and their other operators, they also release their thinking under uh, introduce AI in their network. I mm -hmm. think this now is the AI is, is a trend intru, uh, introduced to the 5G. Now is a trend. And yes. it will it will inevitably go into the workplace in the future. Yes, I think yes. not it's not future, it's today. It, it's yeah, today yeah, already, yeah. 5G yeah. to the network is the today. The, uh, Huawei and other pa uh, partner already have a lot of achievement uh, recently, mm -hmm. but the most important change is recently the generative AI foundation model. This is the uh, latest AI technology give us a lot of, uh, um, how to say, uh, is, is really helpful to our network and help us to improve. This is new technology help, our, uh, help us to improve uh, previous applications performance. So this is help us to do something previously we cannot do. For example, the, the with the generative AI, it can help us mm -hmm. to greatly simplify the interaction between the engineer and the machine. This is really helpful. If you just see our use case, that this is we use kind of the generative AI to help our field uh, maintenance engineer to simplify their work when they maintain their site. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's like a, you know, like a, a, a helper to the human engineer. Sir. Yes, 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 that's sir. right. Uh, at the same time, sir, uh, is there, you know, like, normally I know it is hard, but like how hard is it, you know, to combine the two systems together and, and what are the facilities that you need, you know, to do such thing, let's say? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can imagine that uh, now we are just at the very beginning, we, have, we always start. I always see there are also a lot of challenge 
Yeah, for example, that the integration, uh, the cooperation between different partners, like the operator, like the service, uh, service provider OTT uh, mm -hmm. over the top of the of like the like the TikTok. Yeah, this is uh, the service provider, and also the Huawei. The, we are the vendor. How to cooperate with each other? How to uh, define the uh, cooperation model? Mm -hmm. Now, still not very clear. Yes, sir. I think this is the first uh, first way. Second is that uh, when we uh, do it, do do the uh, promote the foundation model because you know the telecom foundation. Uh, uh, sorry, telecom. Uh, infrastructure is very important. It's critical to to the to the nation. So the data is uh, is a bit sensitive. So our operator also have the re requirement that their data cannot go out of their own network or go out of their their country. So sometimes we cannot share the data. Mm. Uh, we cannot share the data with uh, other other operator or other country. So maybe we need to imagine a proper way to. Protect the people's uh, uh, privacy. Meanwhile, we also can share their knowledge to different, to other uh, system, yeah, yeah, other other operator, or other system, or other country. Yes, so sir. we need to find a, a proper way. So I think this is another challenge. Yes. Yes, sir. My last question, and also like yes. a, a question for conclusion. Mm. So you mean like so right now you are creating a a model mm. to to connect the dots together. So you mean like uh, this kind of system? N not, I mean, uh, not one company can do it. It, it, you know, it involves like an, an entire industry mm. to 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 make it uh, as a reality. Is that mm. what you mean? Uh, you, you you mean is uh, you mean the telecom uh, foundation model? You, you mean like the, the 5G and AI? Mm -hmm. uh, not one company can do it. It, it yes. demands the entire yes. industry to work sure. together. Sure. Yes. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Some. Some some uh, company provides the hardware. Some company provides the foundation model. Some mm -hmm. company will have the uh, advantage to have the more data. Yes, like mm -hmm. the OTT company, they have a lot of data. Maybe quite helpful. But then mm -hmm. I'm not sure now how they have 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 us. But we already find something. For example, if we for the OTT company, they could understand users' experience better than us. Because they, when you when when you are suffering on the uh, network, you, when you use the TikTok, when you use the YouTube, you uh, when you uh, have bad experience, you mm -hmm. will the 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 OTD uh, application will find it immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have this kind of advantage. If they can tell the total network, uh, my consumer, they they are experience not good. I think maybe the when the network get this information, they can. Provide a better reaction to uh, to the uh, and take measures to solve this problem. Yeah, but now the actually we do not have this channel uh, mm. between each other, and the interface have not to be uh, defined. The interface is not defined and also can, uh, is not uh, standardized. I think in the future this could be a very good topic in the in the future. Yes, I think sir. maybe in the 3GPP or other standard organization. So it's about management between people and people. Yeah, yeah uh, yes. it's how to manage yes. uh, the, the, the the how to define the interface uh, to cooperate bet, uh, between different uh, uh, company, different uh, industry partner. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think this is also will be very uh, interesting topic.